All right, Kat, I believe you helped us find this week's Feel Old Friday segment. Flashback Friday. Whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. A rose by any other name. Uh You can call it whatever you want to, but Kat's got uh, some questions that the 90s never answered for us. Yeah, uh, let's try that again. Unanswered questions from the 90s. Uh, We'll start with who or what is the Phantom Menace? From episode one of Star Wars? Yeah. You are asking the wrong guy. I know, but you know, it, it was, some people thought it referred generally to the, the insidious rise of the Empire um, going on underneath everybody's noses, um, but it, it occurred that nowhere in Star Wars Episode One is that question actually really answered. I can tell you that uh, for me, the Phantom Menace is something to avoid at all costs. Yeah. <laughs> That's just me, though. <laughs> all right. Uh, another unanswered question from the 90s. Who did, in fact, Rob, let the dogs out? The Baja men did, didn't they? Well, I guess they didn't. The song wasn't really a hit technically until 2000, but it it was written in 98. Um, But we still don't actually know who let the dogs out. Can you believe it took this brilliant record two years to to climb the charts? (laughs) Can't believe it took two years for this one to get noticed. Yeah. Um, How about what is a Wonder Ball? The chocolate candy with the toy inside? Mm Mm-hmm. That's what it is as far as I'm concerned. Um, Are you afraid of the dark? Okay, I love that show, but I would say no, I'm not in fact afraid of the dark. Okay. And even still, when I was a kid, I would, while that show was excellent, I was never scared of it. Okay. Well, Jewel really wants to know, and I got to tell you, so do I, Rob. Who will save your soul? I'm not sure who's going to save my soul, and I can tell you, we don't have that song in the system. Do you know that? Really? We've got a few Jewel songs, but one... That, that is to no- me, that was like that was like the definitive Jewel song. Intuition, Till It Feels Like Cheating, Winter Wonderland, Stronger Woman, Stay Here Forever, Standing Still, I Do, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Hands, Foolish Games, You Were Meant For Me, But Know Who Will Save Your Soul. Okay, Foolish Games and You Were Meant For Me, I get. However, Who Will Save Your Soul was like, I think that was my introduction to Jewel. Like, I um, think that was the song that caught my attention. I think that the her biggest hits were probably Foolish Games and You Were Meant For Me, but that was that's in the top three, I would think. There you go. Um, do the members of the Babysitter's Club really ever age? I mean, they were they were 13 and in eighth grade for over 200 books. It's like the characters on The Simpsons. They're like cartoons. Nobody's, nobody's eighth grade year is 200 books long. <laughs> well, you make a good point, but the, think of them like the, the literature version of cartoons. You know, they don't age. They don't change their clothes. Right. What in the world's a Wonder Wall? We've, we've addressed this before. I know what I think a Wonder Wall is. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I, th- I think a Wonder Wall is like your source of strength, your 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 pillar that will always be there to help you. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, I could was, probably play that song. If you if you like. Um, was Nickelodeon's slime machine washable? According to some of the people interviewed for Slimed, an oral history of Nickelodeon's golden age. Oh, is Nickelodeon's slime machine washable? I yeah. see. Okay, gotcha. The, there wasn't a one-stock recipe for the slime. Um, it was assumed, I guess, that it had to be machine washable because the Otherwise, the number of wardrobes would have been ruined. Eventually, would have just been massive. I would have. I would have assumed you could wash it in your washing machine. Yeah. Some some people wore some nice attire. I've seen tuxedos get slimed before. That's true. I do want to know what what slime was actually made of. That was what they're saying. The consistency changed. Like the the ingredients would change yeah. sometimes. They would use it different was, formulas. It was never the same. Um, if Tamagotchis are aliens, then how did they find out about Earth? How do any aliens I mean, that's find some, out about some Earth? Really advanced science, right there, you know. Sure. And why would they need us to make sure that they eat and they poop regularly if they're that advanced? Um, that's a good question. The first one I think is an easier question to answer. That second one, though, that's tougher. Mm-hmm. And why did they visit Earth in the first place? I mean, was it part of some failed scheme to take over the planet? I think more the same reason we go to Mars just to learn about us and see what's mm-hmm. going on here. Okay. If I had to venture a guess. Why, Rob? Why are tricks only for kids? I found out in my adulthood that they're not. <laughs> I think the premise is flawed. Um, how about why did the bat suit need nipples? Have you ever noticed? Okay. In the, the Joel Schumacher era of the it's, Batman movies? It's only in those Clooney ones. Mm-hmm. I assumed it was not that the bat suit had nipples. It was just that George Clooney's were really poking through. <laughs> and yes, I know it was the, he was you know it was a steel plate or whatever, but I, I assume that that's what Clooney's nipples do. The the bat suit had nipples. 
Sure. Um, how did the creators of Mr. Sketch Markers get the smells so accurate? Oh, they were dead on. Yeah, they were. They were dead on. I can't answer that. All right, yeah, again, yes, Mr. Sketch. These are unanswered questions from the 90s. How did we convince our parents to buy us so many impractical clothing items? For example? Um, there were just, there were so many things that weren't practical. Everything was oversized. Yes, everything was oversized. Um, we all looked like clowns. Kind of, yeah. Really, we did. Um, you know, the skate shoes. Why did you need skate shoes if you didn't skate? Um, everything was oversized, like you said. Um, we were we were determined to wear those god awful jelly sandals. I don't know if you remember the it jelly is, sandals. I'll I'll admit to wearing oversized stuff, but the other stuff, the skate shoes, yeah. the jelly sandals, I I didn't. That wasn't me. Um, I wonder if our parents hated our toys as much as I think they probably did. I guarantee you, my mom does because she's still trying to get rid of that stuff. Like the sky dancers. The, well, the was, thing that sat on the and you pulled the string and it spins up into the air. I'm pretty sure that uh, that parents everywhere were wondering the cost of to replace the ceiling fan in the living room or a broken window or lamp with those. I'm things. sure they probably were. Um, were our parents secretly laughing at us the whole time? I mean, really, to be young adults in in the 80s with huge flammable hair and, and crazy blue eyeshadow i mean you know at least we can laugh at them for that but well yeah there's the, I, I think that every generation goes through the things that their parents find ridiculous that's just part of human nature and rob what happens if you do go chasing waterfalls um well you could sometimes get out of your league you know you could wind up with a mess on your hands i know you find yourself in a situation you can't get yourself out of any idea why it took Mulder and scully so long to finally get together Oh, on X-Files? Yeah. I didn't even know they did. Years, decades even. Was uh, it really? Mm -hmm. huh. How about where do where do treasure trolls come from? I thought it was some sort of enchanted forest. The ones with the jewels and their belly button and the crazy hair? And the, the naked mean, really, bodies? The naked little bodies, yeah, and the big ears. Here's one. Okay, unanswered questions from the 90s. Why didn't Rose just move over? Rose. Titanic. Oh, yeah. Jack. There Jack was... freezes to death because Rose doesn't move over. And there was very obviously a little geometric play here, but they both could have fit on that floating thing. You make a good point, Cap, but then that would, the, the ending wouldn't have made everybody cry. Well, but... If they both survive. But still, if she loved him, she'd have moved over. I'm just saying. Maybe that was your answer. Maybe she didn't love him. And, you know, in terms of Back to the Future... Why hasn't anybody invented a time machine yet? I mean, or, obviously they did it in Back to the Future. Or at least a freaking hoverboard. <laughs> that, that's what I wanted more than anything. Forget the time machine. Give me the hoverboard, please. That thing looked fun. Right? Is that all we have, cats? That's it. How was that for a feel of Friday? Uh, that was a very good Friday flashback.